All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're looking at part two of protein synthesis. Uh, last day we did transcription, and we're going to be looking at translation today, which is essentially just taking that mRNA strand and trying to figure out what the order of the amino acids is. So just as a reminder, we know that in transcription last day, we took that DNA message and we changed it uh, into its complementary RNA nucleotides. We have uh, three types of, M or of RNA. The one that we're going to look at the most is going to be mRNA, and tRNA is also going to be quite useful. Uh, and then there's also rRNA. So mRNA is the actual uh, coded message from DNA that's going to give us the order of the amino acids. Uh, it stands for messenger RNA. tRNA is going to be transfer RNA. This is what the molecule is that's going to take the amino acids and put them in the right order. And the rRNA, which is ribosomal RNA, this is a uh, component of the ribosome, which will just help the tRNA, the mRNA, bind to the ribosome. Okay, so we call it uh, gene expression. We use the genes of DNA to be, we need them to be expressed into protein form. And translation is the process that does this. So mRNA, we know that it leaves the nucleus, it travels out to a ribosome, which are either going to be on the uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum or free-floating as polysomes in the cytoplasm. Uh, the goal of translation is to take that mRNA strand and figure out what the order of the amino acids should be so we can get the specific protein that we hope to make. So you can jot those down. So what we need to know is, is the code. And what a codon is, or we also call it a triplet, is just three nucleotides in a row. Three nucleotides will equi or equate to one amino acid. We have 64 different combinations of codons but there's only going to be 20 different ones. So what that looks like is some repeats. So for example, leucine has six different variations of nucleotides that can go together in order to make this. Okay. You will be given this codon sheet so you don't have to memorize it. We just have to know how to use it. All right, well, let's look at the tRNA molecule. As I mentioned before, it's transfer RNA. This is going to bring the amino acids uh, to the ribosome to get them in the right spot. Uh, we have one tRNA for every one of the 20 different amino acids, so that makes 20 different amino acids, or sorry, 20 different tRNA molecules. One end of the tRNA is going to be holding on to the amino acid, and the other one is going to have a specific triplet or codon, which we call the anticodon, and it will be complementary to the mRNA strand. It just gives it a way to locate uh, where it needs to go. So the tRNA amino acid complex goes to the ribosome, and its anticodon pairs with the mRNA. So this is what the tRNA actually looks like. It's all made out of ribo uh, RNA nucleotides in this type of shape. And in terms of this, without seeing the nucleotides, this is what we're looking at. So as you can see, there's three letters on the bottom. This is going to determine where it's going to go on the mRNA strand. All right, so the process of translation is fairly intense. Uh, we break it down into three steps. We have initiation. This is the top part here that we're going to be looking at. Notice that the ribosome is actually two subunits that come together. So here is the first step. So we take this tRNA molecule, which is drawn like this. It has its amino acid. It has its anticodon. It's going to go meet the start codon, which is the three letters AUG on the mRNA. So once it does that, this is the process of translation. So you can jot that down there. The next step is called elongation. We have, in initiation, we just had our first amino acid brought to the mRNA, which was, it says FMET, but it stands for methionine. We usually just abbreviate amino acids as three letters. Well, in elongation, the process continues. As you can see here, while well, you write it down, the next tRNA molecule brings its amino acid. It's going to match its anticodon up with the codon on the RNA mRNA so it knows where it's going. And once the amino acids are side by side, a peptide bond forms. And notice that this tRNA is no longer joined uh, to the amino acid. So once this ribosome shifts over, it ends up leaving. Uh, notice that there's three binding sites. And we call these uh, binding sites, this is the amino uh, binding site here, A. P is peptide and E is the exit or at least that's how we abbreviate it in terms of helping our understanding because this A site the amino site is where the amino acids are first going to come when it's in this spot here the P site that's where the peptide bond is going to occur and then E it's essentially ready to exit the the uh, ribosome 
Okay, so this process continues and continues uh, for many amino acids. Some of the amino acids can be as as big as titan, which is a uh, elasticity muscle in your uh, when you're in your passive muscles that can be 33,000 amino acids long, which is monstrous. So this goes for a while. The last one is termination. As you can see here, uh, instead of a tRNA molecule coming with an amino acid, a protein called release factor comes, and it has the uh, anticodon for a stop codon which will have three you don't have to memorize them you'll see them and instead of an amino acid coming uh, this release factor comes and stops the process so this polypeptide that was being created ends up folding in the cytoplasm the large and subunit of ribosomes break apart and the mRNA leaves as well and this is the end of the process do you remember the rough endoplasmic reticulum I hope you do. Those little dots on the membranes are the ribosomes. And the processed messenger RNA gets fed into a ribosome like a dollar bill into a vending machine. Ribosomes are a mixture of protein and a second kind of RNA called ribosomal RNA or rRNA. And they act together as a sort of workspace. rRNA doesn't contribute any genetic information to the process. Instead it has binding sites that allow the incoming mRNA to interact with another special type of RNA, the third in this caper called transfer RNA or tRNA. And tRNA really might as well be called translation RNA because that's what it does. It translates from the language of nucleotides into the language of amino acids and proteins. On one end of the tRNA is an amino acid. On the other end is a specific sequence of three nitrogenous bases. These two ends are kind of matched to each other. Each of the 20 amino acids that we have in our body has its own sequence at the end. So if the tRNA has the amino acid methionine on one end, for instance, it can have UAC as the nucleotide sequence on the other end. Now it's just like building a puzzle. The mRNA slides through the ribosome. The ribosome reads the mRNA three letters at a time, each set called a triplet codon. The ribosome then finds the matching piece of the puzzle, a tRNA with three bases that will pair with the codon sequence. That end of the tRNA, by the way, is called the anticodon. Sorry for all the terminology. You need to know it! And of course, by bringing in the matching tRNA, the ribosome is also bringing in whatever amino acid is on that tRNA. Okay, so starting at the five prime end of the mRNA that's fed into the ribosome, after the five prime cap, for almost every gene, you find the nucleotide sequence AUG on the mRNA. The ribosome finds a tRNA with the anticodon UAC, and on the other end of that tRNA is methionine. The mRNA, like a mile-long dollar bill, keeps sliding into the ribosome so that the next codon can be read, and another tRNA molecule with the right anticodon binds on. If the codon is UUA, then the matching tRNA has an AAU on one end and a leucine on the other. And if the mRNA has an AGA, then the matching tRNA has a UCU on one end and an arginine on the other. In each case, that new amino acid gets connected onto the previous amino acid, starting a polypeptide chain, which is the beginning, the very beginning of a protein. So where should we go from here? What should you know? Just make sure you know why translation is occurring in order to make the protein. We need to know that the mRNA codon, mRNA codon uh, methionine is what's going to start it all. And then the three steps. 